Big Spring City Council residents and fire department staff members stopped by the council chamber to discuss the possibility of closing down Fire Station 2. According to Firefighters Association President Shanley Delk, the Big Spring Fire Department is working with minimal support to a standard size of four people per rig. We're working way below that standard now. We're now we're, we're about 25% below that standard with three per rig. Uh, they're looking at cutting that by another 20%. Uh, shutting the fire station down is definitely a, a bad idea. It sends a wrong uh, signal to the community that, that you know, uh, fire protection is going to be delayed, EMS response is going to be delayed in an emergency, and that's just never a good thing. According to City Manager Todd Darden, in 2020, the city applied for a grant to add additional firefighters for manning on trucks. And according to Darden, the grant ended this past March and there is no available funding for 10 positions. He has another solution for the potential closing of firehouse number two. You know, in order to keep three men on the truck, uh, my, one of my solutions was to close the fire station, combine possibly two of them into a new one. and and still have coverage and, and still have three men on the truck. How we pay for that could be through the savings associated with what the council's decision might be regarding this. And for Council District 2 woman Diane Yanez, she knows the area and the potential risk if getting rid of Fire Department 2. You gotta remember we have two schools that are close to that 18th and Greg area there. Our safety of our children are in their hands. And every 30 seconds, to me, it makes a huge difference. We need the coverage. We need to keep our local firemen here.